Hey, Smokestack Owner fans, Johnny C. from New Jersey. We're here in the garage again with the 12.0 uh, DJC, otherwise known as the 15.0 DJC. But we're not here to try to set any kind of records as far as uh, pushing a million kilowatts or whatever. We've already achieved 19.25, uh, but I seem to have a little problem. Uh, I think it's uh, called wet stacking. Basically, uh, I guess over the past uh, half dozen runs, I was running unloaded and uh, i noticed uh, some very black oily substance uh that seemed to have been coming out when i'm running this thing with uh, no load i bo uh, it's not oil okay this uh oil base is full of oil i checked the level and it doesn't really smell like uh diesel fuel i believe it's just uh byproduct of uh, what's coming out of the cylinders it's trying to make its way out of the uh, stack there are some little splatters over here I don't know if it's focusing but it gets much worse than what you see uh, again when I'm running I'm loaded and I believe what happens is that this stuff goes back into the exhaust manifold and eventually cooks and it starts closing up the exhaust ports uh, on the head area and uh, sort of like uh, you know uh, I guess uh, clogged arteries and becomes like a hard substance. I've cleaned out the uh, this substance uh, on uh, several DJCs with a blaster and sometimes it's pretty bad so I don't think that this is a problem just with this uh, DJC but anyway so what I'm gonna do today to demonstrate this I'm gonna start this uh, setup unload it okay we're gonna run it for a few minutes and I'm gonna see if I could get some of that gook coming out just to give you a better picture of what's going on then what we're gonna do we're gonna run this under a heavy load this is what's suggested okay uh, what I have in line here is I believe eight heaters one two three four five six seven eight you probably seen those when I was scanning around when uh, the video first started up I'm gonna turn them on I assume that this is probably gonna produce about 10 kilowatts maybe 12 at, at most and we're gonna run this set hard, okay? And we're gonna see if uh, anything oozes out and maybe it'll just burn up the uh, the, the substance that I was just uh, showing you. Uh, if it is wet stacking, again, it's all new to me. Uh, running these, these diesels with no or little load uh, could be a potential issue. Uh, again, it's uh, noted that these uh, diesels love to be uh, pounded hard. So anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down the camera for a moment, and we're going to start. Actually, I'll just do it right now. All right, uh, let's do this here. Uh, everything's run off a transfer switch here in the garage. I always, for safety reasons, when I'm not around, I put this into uh, uh, hand crank or stop mode. I'm going to put this in automatic. I'm going to close the door. All right, right now we're running off a of grid power. And I'm going to kill the breaker. You're going to hear the... the a uh, little siren here. It's going to be a high-pitched squeal. That's uh, the glow plugs being energized in about a minute It's going to start up. So here we go. All right Simulating the power failure in a moment. You'll hear the uh, little there we go now the uh, glow plugs are Energizing all right, it's going to take about a minute or so then this thing's going to start up and we'll get back with you hang in there Okay, we're back. I'm standing far away right now at the moment because uh, this thing is pretty loud uh, I had it running for about two minutes, totally unloaded. I'm going to now focus in on that area that I just previously showed you, and you're going to see some uh, something amazing, okay? Uh, here we go. Let me step out here because it's pretty loud. All right, right now we're running totally unloaded. I don't know if we could uh, see this. Does it smell like oil at all? It actually has no smell at all, to be quite honest with you, unless I got COVID, but uh, I doubt that. All right, but anyway, not oil uh, from the crankcase. It doesn't smell like diesel, but obviously it's coming from the exhaust. Why is it leaking through? Well, I probably didn't seal that pipe, but probably for uh, a good reason now. So, uh, that stuff just oozes, all right? Not smoking, all right? Right now it's in a garage. It might look a little hazy up there. 
but that's uh, normal. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, we're running on generator power. I'm gonna start kicking on the heaters. Uh, when I kick on the heaters, I'm gonna wipe that crap away, and I'm gonna see if that stuff still comes out. Let's take one more look, because this stuff's just gonna keep coming out. than what it looked like when uh, we first started the video. So that is coming out, all right? Uh, once again, I guess I didn't uh, seal the pipe too well, the pipe threads on the exhaust. And I'm glad I did it because I wanted to see what I could do about this problem. All right, I'm gonna put down the camera, turn on the heaters, wipe that crap away, and see what happens then, okay? We'll be back. Okay, the DJC's been running now for about a good 15 minutes at about 12,500 watts, continuous. We got all the heaters going. Uh, let me just show you what we got in the panel right here. And I cleaned up the mess uh, probably about 10 minutes ago. No more. No more moving. All right. What we're going to do is let this thing run for a little while. What do we got in the clock again? Right. I'm on the 46th hour, 47. All right, I'm not going to touch this. I'm not going to clean it up. I'm just going to let it run. Again, we got about 12,500 watts of uh, power going right now. The DJC is handling no problem. A little smoke up here. No nothing. All right, I'm going to back out so you can probably hear me. Uh, again, I believe all that stuff that I showed you earlier on when the set was cold and running unloaded, that's uh, big time wet stacking. All right, so we're going to let it run like I said. We're going to shut down the camera. I'm going to walk around, do nothing. Not going to touch that. You saw what it looked like. Let's take a look at it again in about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, okay? Again, we're running about 12,500 watts. My calculation may be off a little bit, but about 125 volts, 50 amps a leg. Uh, nothing has kicked out yet, so that's good. I'll be watching the meter, and uh, okay, so we'll be back. All right, we're back. We've been running for over half an hour. Right now, we're going to find spot. With uh, loads anywhere from 12.5, probably up to about 14 kilowatts. I did not touch the uh, mess, if there's any mess. Let's go check and see. Absolutely perfect. All right, so what does this tell us? Let me back out of here where I can talk and it can be, I can be heard. Okay, as you saw at the beginning of the video, when I first started to set up and I was running unloaded, all kinds of uh, black crap coming out, okay, oozing out, okay? That was evident. We loaded the setup. Yeah, I kind of had it on the high side, but uh, nonetheless, I wanted to get nice and hot. Uh, the shutters are open, as you can see right now. So you know it's all warmed up. The thing uh, ran fine, no oozing whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do now, okay, I'm gonna start backing down uh, these uh, load devices here, my heaters. I want to shut down the set, but I don't want to shut it down hot. I'm just wondering what may happen when I uh, fill the uh, load. Okay, so uh, I'll put down the camera again, start to walk around, uh, do what I need to do with the camera running. But, uh, we'll do that in a okay, for about the past 10 minutes or so, I've been running the uh, DJC with uh, only a, how many heaters here? One, two, three, four. Four heaters. About, uh, 27 amps per leg at 125 volts, so we'll put this back calculate to about uh, 6,600 uh, watts, 6,600 kilowatts. Uh, running fine. Let's see what's going on over here. I don't see any wet stacking. The are fully open. I was taking temperature of uh, the exhaust when I was running uh, whatever it was, 12.5 to 14 kilowatts. Uh, and 
I just took this off a little temperature just a few moments ago after we do the uh, water. It's about a 25 degree difference now, cooler now, of course. The shutters are a little bit not cold, they're not fully open, but uh, hopefully it's keeping some heat in. We're not wet stacking, but then again, we're not running uh, no load. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reduce the, uh, the load once more. Uh, again, right now we're running about uh, you know, 6.5, 6.6 kilowatts. Uh, we've got four heaters going. Once again, i got to put down the camera and shut two of those heaters off. Leave it two on. We load balance it, and we'll see what happens after a few minutes of running. Okay, we've been running now with only two heaters for, uh, I don't know, a good 10, 15 minutes. Okay, got that one on, that guy. The other ones are off. About 10 amps a leg, not, not a little less. All right, everything good. Here's our hours. We've been running now for about a total of about an hour. I don't see any signs of wet stacking, but again, the motor's still warmed up. You can see now that the shutters are just about all the way closed. I got a feeling these shutters, uh, the air ducts are pretty important for a diesel. Come with it. I took these off with the gasoline JC, but I think uh, these diesels really need to keep their heat and run hard. All right. So what I'm going to do now? Uh, I hate to do this because uh, if I take the load off all together and I start wet stacking, I'm going to have a mess. So I think what I'm going to do now? We're going to turn the power back on. Okay, we got the grid power back on, but the diesel, the transfer switch is going to wait a few seconds to make sure that the power is stabilized uh, on the grid, and it'll eventually shut the diesel down. I think we're going to continue the test this way. It's probably better off. Again, I don't want to lose this uh, set with uh, all that crap again. So, uh, I, got, I got a feeling I got to do something about this. I mean, it's great when the set is loaded. It's all warm and stuff, but uh, this thing is just going to chug away. It's uh, running virtually nothing to our power outage. You know, we could have some severe wet stacking problems. But right, so hopefully this thing will shut down in a second. Uh, we'll let it do its thing. I want to show you something in a, in a second or so. Just to... Okay, good. She shut down. Now you can hear me. I'm going to show you something over here. We got two exhaust manifolds. Okay, we got this one off, e off of a diesel. And this one was off of a gasoline motor, okay, a J-Series. They're both the same, okay, same part number and all. But I want you to focus in on something here. You see all this crud? You see all that crud? Okay, this one right here. I believe that was caused from wet stacking on the diesel. You won't see that on the gasoline set, okay? It's nice and open and whatnot. All right, so here we are once again. I believe that that's all caused from wet stacking. Now, this is nothing. I've taken apart a few of these diesel sets, okay? Uh, same exhaust manifold and all. And I've seen these where the uh, port was about at least halfway closed. I mean, it was amazing. And the buildup in the exhaust port in the head uh, was also pretty bad. I had to uh, blast it out with, uh, with uh, aluminum oxide. You know, take the head apart and do all that stuff. So... Is this the cause? What, what's, what's the reason for this? Is this wet, uh, caused by wet stacking? Now this is, uh, again, uh, black. All right, obviously not liquid. Okay, this is all hard and whatnot. But uh, that wet stuff, the wet black stuff that you've seen at the beginning of the video, would, would that have turned into this eventually? You know, cooked in the uh, exhaust manifold? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm just learning about all this stuff. You know, what do I know? But anyway, so that's about it. So definitely, without a doubt, if you look at the beginning of the video, when this set was first started and was not running a load, nice and cold and all that, it was uh, spewing that black, really black, uh, gooky uh, oil or whatever it is. Again, it's not from the crankcase. And once we got this thing uh, warmed up and under load, running for about an hour, uh, not a sign of that crap, okay? If I let the sets uh, cool down, I repeat this test, same thing's gonna happen. 
Uh, okay, you saw this set just shut off. Let's take a look at the uh, oil right here anyway. All right. Okay. We have to clean it off the dipstick. Okay, you can't see it, but I'm wiping it on my leg. Okay. There we go. I mean, it's hard to see. Because it's probably not focusing, but obviously that's not black. It's actually like brand new. Okay. That's uh, the 15W40 Rotella diesel. All right, so that's really about it. So I just wanted to demonstrate what I'm experiencing as far as what I think is wet stacking. And uh, I think that there was some uh, questions about this on the Smokestack uh, Onum forum. I don't know if anybody ever did a video or took pictures, but this is it in real life. All right, so uh, as usual, I'm going to post this on YouTube. We'll have the uh, thread opened on the uh, Onum forum, on the Smokestack forum. Uh, there's a lot of good guys out there that know their stuff, and maybe they'll be able to provide some input. Okay, so uh, until then, this is Johnny C. from New Jersey. Uh, that's a wrap.